Hello, this is Captain Vaughn and welcome to another video. Today's topic is the Tatooine Passenger Starliner, or more simply known as the Tatooine Starliner. The Tatooine Starliner was a simple and durable transport used as a sort of interstellar bus, and although it is labeled as the Tatooine Starliner, it was not exclusively seen in the Tatooine system. As many other systems and other planets adopted the vessel due to its incredibly large passenger capacity and its low cost. Also, the vessel actually did have a weapons mount although it was rarely used, since the companies who bought this vessel bought it because it was cheap, and were not willing to spend more money to arm the vessel. In addition the vessel was fairly commonly modified to be a starfighter carrier, as its massive hull could be easily hollowed out, and a hangar bay could be easily installed, although this was relatively costly. So if you had the credits to modify it it might be simpler to just purchase a stock starfighter carrier. Anyway now to the stats. The Tatooine Starliner was roughly 110 meters long and it was equipped with a navigation computer. In addition the vessel could go at speeds of up to 1000 km per hour, and it was equipped with a Class 3 and a backup Class 12 hyperdrive. The Tatooine Starliner was not equipped with any armament, although as I previously discussed, it was equipped with a weapons mount, so it was not difficult to mount any weapons upon it. The Tatooine Starliner could be operated by a minimum crew of two though it required a crew of 5 plus staff in order to operate effectively. In addition the vessel could carry 600 passengers, 160 metric tons of cargo, and one week's worth of consumables. The Tatooine Starliner's manufacturer was strangely unknown, and it would have cost 140,000 credits new and 67,000 credits used. Now to my personal opinion, overall I believe that this vessel was a relatively fine vessel, if you needed to transport a lot of people to a certain place, although if not, it kind of did not really serve a purpose. Of course if you did want to modify it it could serve a purpose, but many don't want to go through the trouble. Anyway that's all for today and until next time I'm Captain Vaughn and thank you for watching.